Jacksonville, Florida. Cool stuff games. Got a match between Marcus and Brian. This is round one. So off to the races they go. Marcus has five Zeta Squadron survivors, uh, each with passive sensors and homing missiles. So he's going to be able to, as his action, spin that passive sensors charge, and then at his engagement, he'll be able to either target lock or calculate. And these are TIE SF, so they have that heavy weapons turret. Be able to shoot those missiles out the front or the back. On the right, we've got Brian flying Rick Ollie, Obi Wan Kenobi, and two Arc 170s. Rick with Juke and passive sensors. We'll see how passive sensor works out for him. And then we've got Obi Wan Kenobi with battle meditation, calibrated laser targeting, and two Arc 170s naked. They're just there for that beef. There is a lot there to take down. So the ties on the left, uh, just lining up, uh, spread out all over that left side. Nice of them to put those charges out in front of the ties so that we can keep up with them. Let's uh, get rid of a little bit of this dice box showing through. All right, bets are live in the chat. If you're watching on Twitch, feel free to place bets on who you think will win. Yeah, Maui says passive sensors won't be used on Rick this match. Yeah, I don't see it being much use here. All right, there they go. So who's starting us off here? The ARC 170s, so that tells me Brian has initiative. I'll go ahead and put that in the overlay. So this is the first round of hyperspace in the, uh, the current wave, this new wave four with the points adjustments and new ships. Very exciting. Get to watch the meta evolve before our eyes. If you can't quite hear the excitement in my voice, it's because I had to be up at five to travel down here, but I am extremely grateful to be here. And I've got the Red Bulls to prove it. One forward out of red and a barrel roll. Let's see if he moves backwards. Yep. Trying to, uh, nope. Oh, he goes right into the... Maybe goes a little bit forward. Okay. Not trying to hold himself back too much. He sees where those arcs are going, so he's going to adjust to uh, come after them. <laughs> so I'm just watching Patrick in the chat try to play some bets. <laughs> it's exclamation point bet. Then the bet ID, so it'll be zero for Marcus, one for Brian, and the number of credits you'd like to bet, 100 being the max. Are they flipping their sensors? Yep. Uh, well, at least, oh, two of them barrel rolled. I was there when it happened, I promise. Uh, this one decides to flip that passive sensor charge. And just daring any of these ships to uh, come into its arc. There's another barrel roll trying to line up that lane in the middle, it looks like. So we've got Rick at the top of the board and, uh, and Obi-Wan in the middle. Probably wants to hang out and 
be able to give these arcs the uh, battle meditation. Let's take a look at that upgrade real quick. You don't see it a whole lot, and I think two people are flying it here today. Um, so it gives you a coordinate action. While you perform a purple coordinate action, you may coordinate one additional friendly, non-limited ship of the same type. So we'll be able to give both of those arcs additional mods. And then he can use his ability to give them back focuses if they spend it during defense, for instance. Rick, slow rolling. No, he boosts. Never mind. He doesn't have a one, does he? Just give them like an extra like three minutes. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your timer's synced up, right? Yeah. Yeah, so just give them like three more minutes. Cool. If, if they yep. Use We're going to give these guys more time because they did spend a lot of time putting uh, colors on their ships. So let me add that in the overlay. We'll go up to like 66 minutes. All right. There we go. Steve Sesnick from Florida Man X-Wing is RTO. Super nice guy. I'm going to guarantee these guys get a fair showing here on stream. Okay. Uh, so back to dials we go. Let's see. I mean, it looks like the the arcs are heading towards the middle there. I wonder if uh, is that a green or a blue? Well, it's not a red arc. <laughs> that looks green. You know what? We're going to change that blue arc to a green one. It's going to drive me crazy. Cool. So may just opt to go over that gas cloud or may try to... I don't know what you do. To not go over... I mean, you could go straight. Kind of get in the way of Obi-Wan, but... A distinct possibility. You probably want to turn that arc towards the enemy at some point. The real question is where can you be that has the least amount of coverage from these Thai SFs? Rick Ollie's got a good place up at the top. Um, this bottom Thai SF, you know, the red one, gonna be gonna have a hard time getting up in that engagement, so if you can force something up at the uh, top left of the board will probably benefit you. Sukasa says, I don't see any beers. It's not really Florida Man style. Hey, we got the beer here, all right? It's ready and waiting. It doesn't care that it's 10.30 a.m. We're always ready to throw up the natties. <laughs> and we are not sponsored, unfortunately. <laughs> That's just free advertisement. I never said I had good business sense, all right? All right, and it looks like a four forward. They have fours. Let's take a look at that dial. Yeah, they got a four and a five. Oof. Those things can get. Yeah, Lou, that was uh, that was pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna try and recount that on stream but anybody watching this in the archive they're just gonna have to realize that you should have been here live I appreciate all my children but especially the ones that watch live <laughs> so 
So it looks like four of those spent their, maybe all of them spent their uh, passive sensors. The uh, glare on that one is a little unfortunate, but uh, I think we can guess. We're gonna have to keep track of these maneuvers that Raleigh, uh, that Raleigh, that Ollie, Rick Ollie, Rick Olier. I did get schooled on how to pronounce that yesterday, but I prefer the Ollie. I can't quite confirm the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater alt art yet, but boy, I want to do it. Alright, checking for range here. Looks like we might get a range three. Ooh, it, ooh, nope, it is just barely out. Wow. Uh, so homing missiles are range two to three, is that right? Double check here. Yeah, two to three, four dice or a damage. <laughs> All right, somebody shooting. I don't see any uh, homing missiles spent, so this will be a regular two dice attack. One crit, one evade. Three dice tells me that was uh, range three, probably through that gas cloud. All right, passive sensor charges get flipped, and back to dials. All right, so I know the, the uh, Flying Mighty wants to see Rick do some high-speed maneuvering, wants to guarantee that, uh, that extra dice, and this might be the turn for it. These arcs have pretty successfully navigated this uh, debris and gas cloud field. So we'll see probably red down at the bottom do a, uh, a bank maneuver. <laughs> now he says double modded arcs incoming. Yeah, I can see that. Let's take a look. Where? Okay, so we see bottom right. That is the alt arc for Obi-Wan down there. We see the force points. Those tokens look cool, but man, they are hard to read on stream, knowing which of these gold sides is spent or not. Maui says the coin tokens are not good. They're not good for, well, they're not good for readability, right? I mean, even if you're on the other side of the table and you have to look over there and try to discern whether they're spent or not, like, there's a reason this game has a, you know, like, red and green color scheme for readability. We did it to the charges. We did it to the shields. We did it to force points originally. These, uh... The metal tokens, not as nice.
Yeah, so speculation here in the chat about whether an arc dies or Obi-Wan dies. The thing we have to keep in mind is this is a CLT Obi-Wan, so he's 3-1, and one, not 3-3. Three and three. Um, He does get an extra evade dice, but he's probably going to come in with one less force point because he'll use battle meditation. He'll be down to two. If he catches something in his bullseye arc, he might be tempted to spend another force point to mod that focus that he gets. So then he could be down to one or less, and then he's just it's just open season on Obi-Wan. <laughs> yep, there's the three bank that I thought we'd see. One bank. Does he make it around this debris? No, he's on that debris. Right? Uh-oh. Well, I think the uh, debris moved a little bit when they took their hand off. Oh, and they're going to roll for it. So nothing but uh, does take a stress. No damage does take a stress. It was close. He took a risk. Didn't work out this time. Flying Mighty in the uh, chat saying that is minus one missile, so that's definitely an advantage for him. Still will be a range one shot into that arc. But yeah, everybody's saying uh, probably no good shot on Obi-Wan then. It's like a 2-4. Does that fit? Ooh, it's going to be close. Oh, it sits. It fits. And maybe eventually it crits. So yeah, this is an interesting question. Do you focus? Because you're about to get dumped into... I mean, he's got the target lock now on Obi-Wan if he wants it, but you can probably focus. Yeah, Flying Mighty in the chat saying you have to, yeah. You need to make it to your engagement phase. I mean, I think they're all twos, right, the arcs and the, uh, and the SF, so you'd have to survive Rick and Obi-Wan. That shouldn't be too problematic, but you probably would want to make it through this turn if you could. Ooh, another nice tight maneuver here. This one does opt to go for passive sensors, although he's pretty much in the same position. Strange to focus on one and not that one. All right, here comes Rick. Is that a four? Sure looks like one. He's going to get the evade from full throttle. It's going to activate Juke. He doesn't need to use passive sensor, so he just got to figure out if he wants to focus. And he, he, that four should be more than any anything that the uh, SFs did. So he should be getting that extra die. Looks like he's going for a lock. Yep. Puts it on... Is that green? We'll figure that out. All will become known to us. All right. Obi-Wan, let's see if he throws out those mods. I think I see a... F Ooh, going for the boost.
and the battle meditation to give out target locks. So I think that's two force points gone from Obi-Wan. So Rick Ollie's going to start us off here. Let's see if I can read those force points. Not really. Two hits. Rerolls the blank into another hit. And I see. Shields down. Let's figure out which one that is. What color are you? Uh, looks like hit hit crit. One evade. Two shields gone on that one. Looks like that's on green. All right, another arc shot, range one, four dice, two hits, re-rolls with the target lock, focuses for three. There's a blank and a focus, spins the focus to take two. We're going to get this damage right eventually. Who's going to go next here? Well, if the arcs are done, we should be on the SFs, right? Yep, so we get some SF shots back. Hit blank focus, it looks like. Nope, hit hit focus, there we go. One focus. So looks like that's on red, takes two shields. Two hits. So one evade, one shield. John in the YouTube chat. Hello from Southern California. He's uh, one of our players and 
at the local store. Out there visiting the, uh, the new Star Wars land and Disney, among other things. Looks like that's red SF. And for a range one shot, I don't know that he got it. He's going to shoot a missile here. Looks like that damage just moved around. Double check that once they uh, go into planning. Looks like that is the end of combat here. I'm just going to double check these damage values. We'll be right back. So, blue is the one on one hull. Green is shields down. And it looks like 104th just took the damage from that uh, homing missile. All right, so... You have to keep track of these turrets on the uh, SFs all of a sudden. It's kind of interesting, the, the SFs versus the ARCs. They're both ships that don't mind just moving past the engagement and shooting out the back. ARCs going to lose a dice to do it, but these SFs, they don't care. They want to shoot that uh, that homing missile out the back. I don't think we adequately appreciated uh, Rick Ollie's combat. I spent a lot of time yesterday with, I think, two Rick Ollie games where he almost never triggered. Both players were almost always doing the same speed maneuver. So I definitely appreciate it when Rick Ollie gets to uh, throw that extra die. Now he says passive sensors are busted on SFs. I don't know. We'll see. Um, they needed help. Maybe they've gotten it now. I've 
definitely seen it used well. Um, I don't know that it's quite to the broken status yet, but it does seem good. Nice to see missiles getting used. Nice to see that heaven weapon, heavy weapons turret getting used as well. So Brian will be moving first with those arcs. Hmm. All right, so here's an attempt at a two forward from this arc. He should fit in there. Oh, yeah. Clog up the lanes, baby. All right, so <laughs> should have never just should have never taken that template out because now we just got to mark him. Probably going to see a lot of this today. We've got a whole lot of first order lists, a couple of separatist lists. So there's there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of ships, a lot of marking and moving. Oh boy. <laughs> Good luck keeping all those templates in their place and remembering who goes where. Timo says, you can't arc dodge the TIE SF swarm with their back arc. They will catch you. Um, the, these arc 170s have a little bit of an advantage because they move first. So they could cause some blocks. And if you don't let these TIE SFs get in action, they can't turn their turret. Then you can arc dodge because they can't turn their arc. Um, but there's probably not going to be a whole lot of battling for initiative two today. We'll see. Ooh, that doesn't... I don't think that's going to make it. Yeah, looks like it's going to be a bump. Timo says, why should you play Hux with ships that have passive sensors? You do the passive sensors action as red and lose the target. No, so you use Hux to take a focus. Um, if you're in the Upsilon, that's, I think the base Upsilon is initiative two as well. So you do that first, then the TIE SFs move, do a blue maneuver, relieve the stress, then do passive sensors. Yeah, I had the same question. I saw it once on TTS, uh, and it worked all right. Dice Guild Gaming, thank you for the follow. I need to turn my, uh, my sounds back on. Hold on one second. Let's turn down the music. And turn up the computer sound. Cool. 
will make a professional streamer out of me yet. Hmm. So it looks like passive sensors got spent on that tie SF up the top. But he can't turn his arc after doing that, right? Yeah. Looks like they realized that too. Thanks for the bits, Lou. Oh, that's right. He could uh, he could do passive sensors and then turn the arc after he takes the lock. That's right. Let's check. Uh, I'm just going to read that passive sensor one more time. Yeah, if your charge is inactive, you may perform a calculate or target lock action. So that would be a target lock action. She could then link. Yeah, Maui said that's that's why SFs are uh, you know best with passive sensors because they can take the lock plus rotate with full board knowledge. Yeah. Definitely strong on these ships. It's nice to see generics getting used. Poor backdraft. Never had his time in the sun. Looks like he's going to go ahead and turn the arc a little bit easier while the ship's in your hand. My stickers are getting in the way of arc rotation. That could be a thing. Gonna move this arc out of the way. Give Rick Ali a big old three hard. Oh man, he's got his pick of the litter there. And he's got a range one, I think, onto the blue damaged tie. Oof. That's going to be rough. That is very likely a PS kill. Let's give uh, old Ben back a force point. We'll see how long into today I get tracking force points. We'll almost certainly give up and take them out of the overlay. Looks like we've got three. One evade takes two, I believe. Yeah. That's onto the already injured tie, and that guy is out of here. Blue, we hardly knew you. All the initiative fives are going to engage before he gets removed. So 
Obi-Wan might, it looks like he's bumped into one, probably has a shot into the other. It looks like a whole bunch of blanks. Let's see if we can get some more room on that left side of the dice cam. Alright, so did we do Obi-Wan? Here's three dice. This must be. Yeah, a range one. That looks like hit, hit, crit, one evade. Hit, crit. Oh boy. Good luck to us figuring out what that was. Looks like it's on green. Two hits, one evade. I think this is the arcs, range one. One shield gone on red. It was blinded, because I was blinded. Let me show you what it was. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. I, I thought it's definitely two words. <laughs> One of these days, one of our big bad streamers will uh, will have a separate crit, crit cam. Uh, two hits, one evade. Looks like uh, two damage cards on red there. Spins the lock into a blank. Two hits, one evade, and there's another damage card. I see a crit in there. I see a focus from Rick. Uh, or maybe that was an evade token, actually. Like, I think one shield went off of Rick there. I don't see any shields on Rick. Let's, uh, I'll double check that. Uh, ooh, we have a song now. Oh, yeah. We do have a, a bit of a playlist here. Now it's Aladdin and Enrique Iglesias. We keep it weird. Let me go check on the shields on Rick. So yeah, Rick is uh, shieldless. I bet 
Oh, you know what? I bet people... That's going to be the hard thing to keep track of is when um, homing missiles are used. So I can see over there on the left, two charges gone on green. Hey, fly and them... The fly and the mighty. I can read. I promise. Thanks for the sub. Enjoy those emotes. <laughs> Oh, that was a, a gift? A gifted sub from Lou? Yeah, gifted tier one sub. Ooh, thank you very much. Lou, one of the, uh, the biggest benefactors of the stream. I'm going to have to make a plaque eventually. All right, so let's try and figure out. I think both of the homing missiles are gone from green. And as soon as Marcus gets done planning, we'll figure out what other uh, charges have been spent. Deslin, thanks for the follow. Lord of Britannia says, you're not participating. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Scott does not perform well in tournaments or in casual play. Those who can't fly stream. That's who I was trying to think of. Isophane, yeah. He's the uh, the big contributor for Gold Squadron. And Lou, Lou is our, uh, our own Isophane. Well, it's not a competition yet. Mystic, thanks for the follow. I just noticed that I could see the <laughs> the charts. There we go. Uh, looks like everybody's... Oh, uh, Red's missing one. So yeah, I think there were some homing missiles that were fired into Rick Ollie, and instead of rolling for it, you know, he just opted to take the damage, which is why we didn't see an attack happen. So that's going to be fun to keep track of. I can evade that. <laughs> I can evade nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. So we take the main shot back here. All right. Planning here. So Ark's definitely heading away from the fight. Might be shooting two dice out the back, which is going to be beneficial for these ties. Let's take a look at that point value. We've got 60 to 21. Brian is in the lead. He's taken out one of these SFs and he's got another on half. And Marcus, I think, only has half on that one arc 170. He's close on Rick. Coach in chat played five SFs last night with crack instead of sensors. Hmm, it doesn't. I don't know how you feel about that, because it doesn't feel like you're taking advantage of that back arc with crack shot. But maybe. Seems like it's good for the joust, and then maybe you're moving away from the fight. I mean, crack shot's one of those things that it's so cheap, you don't have to guarantee that you use it. If it happens, it's great. If not, it didn't cost you much. Nice. Nice. 
Ooh, Mark in the chat, was crack worth it? There's got to be a better way to ask that question. <laughs> All right, so we got a K turn out of red arc and a bank out of the other. Who says nice arc flying? I agree. How many sides is that? One, two, three, six. trying to remember my geometry. You know, for a, uh, a channel called Hexiled, remarkably bad at geometry. Pentagon, hexagon, octagon. I've got a couple of gons. There's a three bank. Gets around the gas cloud. Probably going to shoot out the back. Yeah, Lou says Pentagon... I'm lucky enough to live in a country that has a building, a very famous building that's a pentagon. So that work is done for me. Coach says, found out Lando in a Trandoshan slaver with a reinforced token is bonkers awesome. Yeah, that's been around uh, since the beginning of... 2.0, but it definitely got the slaver got cheaper, right? I know it got the gunner slot. That was always, I think, in my opinion, the best use of the slaver. It was very efficient, but uh, now it's more affordable and thus better. Now he says no one else would ever touch a YV. Ah, I love my YV. We'll see if maybe contraband helps a little bit uh, dealing with that dial. You do have a stop maneuver and some red turns, so definitely could help you out there. Oh, another bump. I think Obi-Wan has bumped three turns in a row. I mean, there's there's a whole lot of things happening here. A lot of ships getting in the way. Mark says still overpriced. Could be. Maui is going to run up the. Uh, Hello there, quota in the chat. We're going to have to cap how many times that's said. And if you go over that cap, we're going to have to mute you. So Rikali moves in, somehow is never bumping despite the fact that. Uh, Oh, was that an attempted sloop from Obi-Wan? Because it looks like he's stressed now. But it, it, Rick is weird because you pretty much always know he's going to do a three to five speed maneuver because he wants it for his ability and for full throttle. But uh, nobody's blocking him. I see a hit and a crit. Rerolls it with a target lock for a hit and two crits, it looks like. A blank and a focus. And that looks like all shields gone on that top. Ty SF. Arc doesn't have anything out the back. This guy has maybe a range two. Flat and Mighty saying Rick carries super hard. Yeah, he's definitely... Uh, He's definitely contributing a whole bunch here. Here's three dice out the front, one hit, no mods. Did K turn, there's one evade. All 
It looks like the Thai SFs are going to start shooting. Focuses for three. Andy, thanks for the follow. Uh, one evade, a blank, and a focus. It must be through a gas cloud. Because that blank gets changed. No, that was an evade token. That's Rick Ollie. Uh, out the uh, out the rear there. And I think I see a damage card on Rick. Yep. So that's half points for that bad boy. That's going to be substantial. 47 to 80. Loose is my... Uh, game store has metal dice for $75. I want them, but you can't use them. Are those the gravity dice? Dreaded Spectre says, what round? This is round one. I will put that in the title for the next round. All right, so the passive sensor lock slash arc turn. Looks like he's going for a shot on arc 170, maybe. Oh, having a little bit of trouble with those arc indicators. I upgraded to acrylic. I don't do a lot of acrylic in my X-Wing game, but I did upgrade to the tabletop tournament, or tabletop tournaments, the um, tabletop legion acrylic locks and uh, ship indicators, and I adore them. They turn a lot easier, they're easier to read, they're pretty. I love them. Mark says the gravity ones are going to be tempted machine to be actually balanced. That's right. They, they just went on pre-order. I would love to touch them. All right. Let's them roll for it. Three hits going to target lock that blank. Ooh, hoo, hoo, into four hits. Take that, Arc Ones. Oh! <laughs> Three natural evades takes the one anyway. <laughs> Which arc was that? Oh, that was uh, the green one, so he should be down one shield. I'm going to double check on that. Sorry, that was Obi Wan, not not the arc. That's why it's three dice. Come on now, it would have been two at uh, range three. I'm a silly man. Oh, there's a crit. Oh boy, good luck to us. And that was into that uh, the red arc. I'll double check on that in a second. Thank you. 
All right. What's the uh Hold on one second. Let me just double check on an upgrade here. Tactical Scrambler. While you obstruct an enemy ship's attack, the defender rolls one additional defense die. So there's discussion in the chat about what's the maximum number of dice you could roll. I think you can have as many as there are tactical jammers blocking, right? Because those don't... You can obstruct that. You can add additional dice there um, that don't count as an obstruction, right? Ooh, thanks for the follow. I'm going to double check on that crit real quick. <laughs> Damaged sensor array. Hey, thanks for the follow. So he will not be performing any actions except for the focus. Or repairing that card. Death Revive says obstruction is a binary status. Right. So if you obstruct an attack with like an obstacle, right, you get plus one. But if there is a tactical scrambler that's also obstructing the attack, you still add. An additional, not because of the obstruction, but because the title set or the uh, the card says if you are obstructing, yes, you add additional die. So that can stack, right? So we are into planning here. We've got nine minutes left, 47 to 80. <laughs> we got an IG with stealth device and a cloak, far side, like range three, obstructed. But how many tactical jammers can you get obstructed by? <laughs> or get additional dice from? Now he says aggressor, cloaked, stealth device, obstructed by two G1As with tactical scrambler at range three with a rock. <laughs> yes, that's the kind of dumb stuff that we like here on Hexile Gaming. Looks like we got a bump here from this arc. Great arc flying so far from Brian, but can't last forever. Five minutes left, players. Five minutes left. They're on a, a little bit of a different time than us. Timo says, always bring 11 green and you should be fine. Oh boy, I feel real sorry for the person who wants to use all gravity dice and needs to roll 11. 75, I think, for 6. Three of each. So you'd need four sets to get 11 dice of one color. And that's $300. $300 worth of gravity dice. Whew. Also, I was reading up on them, and they have a nice new shiny coating, which 
I am against. They had a matte coating, I think, before. Shiny coatings, bad for dice cams. <laughs> Mark says, think of all the gifted subs that could be. Yeah. I think of things in terms of Twitch subs, for sure. All right, Obi Wan. Is he gonna fall again? Oh, Obi Wan. I'm I'm almost positive he has bumped three turns, maybe four turns in a row. <laughs> Poor Obi Wan. He's just he's lonely. He's going for the hugs. Mark says, get to Worlds, he needs a co-pilot. Man, I'm not going to be any help. Oh, you mean for your stream. Looks like Rick does a Talon onto the gas cloud. Yeah, bitch in the chat calls it. Three Talon roll. No, he does complete his maneuver, right? So he should get the evade. Uh, no, because he's stressed. Never mind. I know how this game works. I'm, I'm thinking of defenders. Because full throttle on defenders is great. Uh, your 4K is white, so you almost always get it. So it's hard to wrap my mind around... Oh, boy, three blanks and a focus. Sorry, Rick. He's been carrying for too long. He needs a rest. Uh, two hits and a crit. Double blanks. Shields down. And, oh, and a crit. Oh boy, good luck to us. Oh, two crits. Why did I turn to that scene? I don't know. Thanks for the follow, Juice. Oh, that's uh, that all went through. There was uh, some, some damage we missed there. <laughs> Looks like a direct hit, yeah. Um, but that must have been from the arc because he's still engaging. Hit, hit, crit. Hey, those are natties. That is a blank from the arc. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Two hits, a focus, rerolls of the target lock. Oh, I think two hits and a crit. There's four dice, two evades, crit goes through. On to, uh, on to Obi-Wan. All right. Does anybody need a pen? 
to a spot. So I got a box full of pens up here. So they got like a minute left, minute and a half. Here, I'll just stand over there and just give me a signal. I'll let them know. Cool. All right, so Red's out of there. He got to engage. Is that... Two onto Rick. So Rick took another uh, homing missile damage to stay alive. He's already gotten half points. So, three minutes? I, I added three when you... I saw that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Rick Ollie uh, opted to take, yeah, a, a um, homing missile damage. So let's see, keeping track of all these homing missiles. Maybe it's easier to remember or to find out who has any left. Cool. Uh, we're going to give them three extra minutes, it sounds like. I'll go ahead and do that in the... Uh... There we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out who's still got missiles left. Who's alive and also has missiles? Uh, I see a whole bunch of flip charges. Number one hasn't spent any. That uh, orange one up at the top. I think everybody. Ooh, no. Uh, no, that's blue that has died. So purple and green are out. There we go. Flying Mighty says, does anyone have missiles left? Yeah, orange up at the top. Where is he on this board? Looks like, oh, he's the one right in front of Rick Ollie. So he's got a good lane if he just wants to slow roll forward and shoot out the back. Uh, he is on three hulls, so maybe he wants to live. He could bank to his right towards the bottom of the board. Uh, Rick can't Talon because he is stressed. It was a very daring maneuver from Rick that didn't, unfortunately, result in anything. Hmm. Obi Wan, what you got? You got two hull left and a console fire. I wonder if Brian knows that he's up on points. What is Marcus's win condition here? Oh, I don't have points in the, uh, in the overlay. Let's put that back up. Oh, they, they should be up. 
ship point values. There we go. Yeah, so 42 points for each of the arcs. If he kills that, he gets 21. That would be 99 points for Marcus. So killing that red one's not enough. Uh, Obi-Wan is 61. 30. Hundred and eight. Yeah, this it's it's a lot. There's a lot he would have to do. Yeah, Jenner says Marcus has to kill two ships, I think. I, I think so. Obi Wan and Rick are so close. I mean three of these ships on Brian's side are very, very close. But unfortunately, so is Green. Green's at the top of the board. Might not be contributing much. I wonder if Ollie's just going to shoot out of here towards that SF and try and take him off the board. So, so far in the chat, we have Rick Ali, skateboarding superstar. We've got Rick Olay, bullfighter. And now we have Rick Ali, uh, Aladdin lover. Arabian prince. He is ripe for the old arts. And hey, if you do an Aladdin-inspired alt art, uh, you can double your chances of copyright claims. <laughs> oh no, Patch, Rick and Morty. Oh boy. <laughs> Yep. Boy, there's a lot of things you could do. All right, so here's a one hard from Obi-Wan. Might be able to boost around that debris. Yep, going for it. I think I gave up on tracking Obi-Wan's force points. Please forgive me. Oh, yeah. Flying Mighty says repair that crit. Oh, you're good. It's not doing anything right now. No, he says no point in repairing it. It's not going to kill him, and he's already passed half points. That is a good point. Yeah. All right, Rick, three and a boost. Flying Mighty likes what he's seeing here. Gonna face down this tie. He's got the evade. All right, range two it looks like in a green. We've got one hole left. Three v two. One evade. Oh, that's yeah okay I was like that's the wrong ship right looks like green is done move him at the end of initiative five here 
two hits. Oh, I think that was Obi-Wan. Yep. Into red there. Or orange. Ain't no red anymore. Looking for a range two shot from this arc. Three dice. Triple natty hits. Two evades takes one on purple, and that is a shield. I don't think Rick has a choice. He has to let the, uh, the dice roll. This is Orange, who does have a homing missile. Should be 4v2. Hey, that's nice. Three hits and a focus. Going to reroll the focus. Oh, that's two hits and a crit. All right, Rick, you got an evade. Two focus results, spins, the token still dies. And there is the handshake. Nothing left to do, 104 to 140 it looks like. Thanks to both players for playing. Thanks, everybody, for watching. That's going to do it for this match, round one of the Hyperspace Trial Cool Stuff Games in Jacksonville, Florida. We'll be back with the next round in a bit.